Central Florida's largest school district facing a time crunch. Orange County School Board members reviewing current policies to make sure they follow new state laws. Yeah, many of the laws took effect less than two weeks ago. With school starting next month, leaders are concerned teachers might not have enough time to adjust. New Six's Lauren Cervantes is at Orange County Public School headquarters with the concerns brought up today in a story all new at 6. The school board discussed two policies, instructional material selection and library material selection, and the processes for challenging both. Now, school board chair Teresa Jacobs tells me they want clear guidance from the state so that they can then take the burden off of teachers by providing them specific direction. I'm very concerned for our teachers that um, they, they have a huge burden just coming in and, and worrying about our, our students and teaching them. And there's more threat this year than there's ever been before of them individually being um, sued. And that worries me. Teresa Jacobs says what's proven to be particularly challenging in reviewing current policies is how subjective some of the language from the state is. For example, the use of the phrase age appropriate. What one one high schooler might think is an age appropriate, another high schooler wouldn't. Parents might see something totally different. The school board's work session was to review policies in place, making sure they are in line with new state laws. One of those, HB 1467, on K through 12 education, which increases scrutiny of school library books and instructional materials. I feel like this, along with other statutes that have been thrown upon us, um, have left so much ambiguity that, as you said, of staff members are so nervous. Board members raising concern of what the changes might look like in the classroom. Is what if it is a study of Gandhi, but it's not the study of his religion, but he does quote some religious underpinnings. Is that not allowed? I don't think that's what the statute was designed to prohibit. It's designed to ensure that we're not indoctrinating students into one particular religion or another. Jacob says she's not optimistic they are going to get enough guidance from the state, but is hoping to get more clarity. We just want to get it right. You know, we want to, we want to know what right is so that we're not in the courts. And that's my greatest concern. This was just the first work session. The school board will meet again to continue discussing the policies and what they will look like moving forward. But a date for that next work session has not yet been set. For now, in Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.